Buenas tardes. Good afternoon, Latoya. Ah, good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. You? Fine, thank you. Mm. How are you? Muy bien, gracias. <laughs> Encantado de que esté aquí. We are really delighted uh, having you here. Oh, thank you. It's yeah. a pleasure to be here. Uh, I am going to do something. We'll talk in English. I'll translate. Okay, Would you mind? that's fine. Somebody told me that you, you came from Tokyo. Yes, uh, I yeah. just got in early yes. this morning, yes. Yeah. Acabo de llegar de Tokio, la Toya Jackson. But uh, inside you is uh, the New York time <laughs> at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, This is quite a jet lag. Eh? Yes, it is, yeah. but I'm okay. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Viene de Tokio, lleva el reloj de Nueva York naturalmente, ahora se encuentra en Madrid. Eh, es lo que llamamos ese desfase de los aviones, pero dice que se encuentra muy bien. Um, this morning, la Toya, this morning, I call somebody. And I ask for your book. I have it here. You do? <laughs> Esta misma mañana ah. he pedido que me traigan el libro de Natalia Jackson. Mm. I couldn't read it entirely. Ah. But I rushed through the pages. Okay. No he podido leerlo completamente. Es edición, es edición en lengua inglesa. Lo pedí a Londres. I just called London for that. Okay. Pero he leído las páginas rápidamente. This is quite a book. Uh, es todo un libro. Mm, thank This is you. Quite a book. This thank quite you a very book. much. May I read in bad English something from your book, please? Sure, go ahead. Me gustaría leer primero el inglés, luego traduzco algo del libro de Natalia okay. Jackson. Escrito, por cierto, con Patricia Romanovsky. Mm. Son las primeras palabras. Son cortas, son cinco o seis líneas, y si me lo permiten, voy a leerlas. Dicen primero en inglés así. Child abuse, brutality, suffering, humiliation, pain, fear, cruelty, physical and mental Abuse. I translate. Abuso de una niña o de un niño. Brutalidad. Sufrimiento. Humiliación. Dolor. Miedo. Crueldad. Abuso físico y mental. It's really sexual. Y sigue. Scars that cannot be seen, but are left on a child for a lifetime. Heridas que no pueden verse, pero que se quedan en un niño o una niña para siempre. Y dice la Toya, I dedicate this book to all the children of the world and to people who have suffered any form of abuse in the hope that one day everyone will see the light and the abuse will end. Yes. Dedico este libro a todos los niños del mundo y a las gentes que han sufrido cualquier forma de abuso en la esperanza de que un día todo el mundo vea la luz y que los abusos terminen. Natalia, this is a self-portrait. Es un autorretrato. Yes. It is. Absolutely. It Definitely. Is. It is. It's an incredible story. Yeah. It's yeah. a sad story. It's a sad story. But it's a story that we lived. I I call it the life of a lie that we lived because we always had the smile for the public yes. but inside there was so much pain yes. for everyone yes yes for every member in the yeah. family le pregunto es una autobiografía o un autorretrato y me dice sí lo es lo es es una triste historia dice ella es la historia de las mentiras de cómo nos hacían sonreír a todos los miembros de mi familia mientras el dolor Eva, por dentro. This is quite a book. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
Es la triste historia escrita por la Toya Jackson de cómo los niños de su familia fueron martirizados por su padre para que siempre sonrieran y always smiled para que siempre cantaran all the time singing yes. but the pain el dolor iba yes because iba of the pain my father which yes. you read in the book yes cross holding guns to our heads and pulling the trigger and laughing thinking it's funny yeah all the time yeah. and burning our feet with fire while we were asleep and laughing but we can't say no because then he beats us yeah. very painful yeah. Bueno, lo que cuenta en el libro que acaba de contarles y contarnos es bastante, bastante fuerte. Dice que su padre les ponía una pistola en la cabeza y apretaba el gatillo, naturalmente no había bala, y luego se reía, o que le quemaba los pies con cerillas o con encendedores, y que ellos no podían decir no. You, you never said no to, to all these things. You can't say no because yeah. he beats you, you can't. Yeah. And it's, it's bad because he would always tell me that I was nothing and I never will be nothing. Yeah. And I always remember these yeah. words, no matter when I perform. Yeah. And I try to blink them out, but it's very difficult. Eh, le pregunto, y, y, ¿y no podrían decir no? Nunca dijeron no. Y ella contesta, no, no podíamos, no podíamos. Incluso mi padre a mí me decía siempre, nunca serás nada, nunca serás nada, nunca serás nada. Y estas palabras se me metían dentro. Y me ha costado mucho trabajo quitarme esta idea de que nunca sería nada de encima. Well, now you are something. Mm, I don't know. Yes, you are. I think. I think. Eh, le pregunto, le digo, bueno, ahora, ahora eres alguien. Y ella dice que no lo sabe. Pero lo vamos a saber muy pronto. May I finish with the last page of your book? Sure. Yeah. Yes. It's very interesting. Do you remember this story about the Beatles? Of course. She is leaving home. Yes, I wrote it. <laughs> yeah, she's leaving home. La vieja canción de los Beatles. Me ha recordado esta página. Dicen así, primero en inglés, first in English, okay. then I'll translate. Okay. Yes. Closing, closing my mother's bedroom door, I took a deep breath. Wipe my eyes and started down the stairs. The heavy front door closed behind me. I got into the car and rode through the iron gates for the very last time. Mm. Traduzco. Cerrando la puerta del dormitorio de mi madre, respiré profundamente. Limpié una lágrima de mis ojos y empecé a bajar las escaleras. La puerta pesada de la casa se cerró tras mí. Me metí en el coche y salí a través de las puertas de hierro. Por última vez, y añade, I was going... Home. Me iba a casa, pero su casa no era la casa de sus padres. You went home yes. a su propia casa. Are you weeping? I'm sorry. Are you weeping? It's all right. I'm sorry. I am really sorry. But uh, I am grateful for you being here. And now, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And now. If you don't mind, we can start with the music. I'm sorry. Do you feel okay? Are you right? Are you right? No. Do you need a handkerchief or something like that? Please, 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 please. A big smile. Por favor, le aplaudimos. Por favor, por favor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were going to do this. Well, I read your book. I beg your pardon. Are you right? Yes? Please. 